Hi there everyone! In this short video I will present you my findings on the profitability of the Dyna Opti trading algorithm. It can be applied to many pairs and has good trading results on the 15 minute time frame. I will start with the intro and in the meantime you can click the like button and subscribe to this channel. The trading algorithm can be easily found and downloaded from GitHub if you search for it by its name. I'll click on the first link that appears on the top and do a quick walkthrough of the code to see what's happening. You can see here the authors of this strategy. So all credits go to them for creating this file. I am just the guy that shows you the results he got on his backtesting setup to inform you about the possible profitability of this algorithm. It has been coded to mainly work on the 5 minute time frame and it has a multitude of options to further optimize the parameter settings for different things. You can also see that this ROI and stop loss settings are not rounded, so it is probable that optimization has been done to optimize these settings on the author's computer. So it might be that on your specific setup these have to be tuned for optimal results. Now the most interesting part of this algo is located in the indicator method. Not only does it borrow from other Fractrade trading algorithms, but also from uh, TradingView scripts. And I have never seen this earlier as far as I can remember. It uses Bollinger Bands to define normal price movements and volatility, relative momentum index and streaks to gauge the strength of the market movement, ATR to uh, calculate stop losses and take profit levels dynamically, and the SSL channel to identify market trend direction. And that brings me also to the thing that you have to be aware of when using this strategy. Because this file also depends on another file for these custom indicators that are referred to if you watch closely. If I scroll to the top again, you can see here that this imports the indicators from a module called custom indicators. And that is a file that is also present in the same repository that you have to download to your strategy directory. So again, be aware that you have to download that file as well to uh, actually make use of this strategy. Now after the indicator parameters, we arrive at the buy settings for this algo. And there are three buying conditions set. Uh, of which one is the bin HV45 based buy signal. And the other two buys are triggered based on a combination of conditions such as uh, low relative price to the Bollinger Bands, momentum and uh, some guard conditions that utilize the concept of uh, average day range to prevent buys during unfavorable market conditions. Now the sell logic is a lot simpler because there isn't any configured. Because the strategy primarily focuses on the configured dynamic ROI and custom stop loss for selling. Uh, after this sell method there are a few other methods configured here. And the most interesting method here is the dynamic ROI method. And this method also uses a mechanism for determining whether the minimum return on investment has been reached based on ongoing market conditions and specific trade characteristics. So now that we know a little bit more about this trading algo, let's continue with the performance on this uh, backtesting setup that I have for testing all the strategies. But first something else. Because I noticed that a lot of people watch my videos but still haven't subscribed. So if you do not want to miss out on any future video, then subscribe to this channel. And also if you like these videos, then please give a thumbs up because that motivates me to make more of these and share this information with you. And I also would like to know if these results are similar to the ones you have on your setup. Let's continue with the backtest results. As you can see from this table, the best results are found on the 15 minute time frame. Here the algo could attain a hypothetical result of uh, over $100,000. Now interestingly enough the win rate is only 50% and there has been a maximum drawdown detected of uh, almost 40%. Now this is quite different from the other trading algorithms I tested earlier. Uh, but if we take a closer look at the equity curve, then we can see that the algo has the ability to rise strongly under bullish conditions but also can suffer from steep drawdowns when markets are under not such optimal conditions. And in my opinion that is in stark contrast to the thought behind the dynamic ROI and custom stop loss that this algorithm contains. 
Now, this maximum drawdown is also somewhat of an outlier in relation to the average drawdown of uh, only 5% over the complete backtest. But we should, however, take this high drawdown possibly into consideration when we want to use this algo for our own trading. If I show you the mean profit loss chart over the backtest period, then you can see at which week that single huge drawdown moment occurred. There are also a couple of uh, other weeks that suffered a big loss and further investigation is needed to find out what happened here. The win rate box plot on the left reveals that the median win rate is around 50%, which indicates that on average the strategy wins around half of its trades, which we have seen earlier in the table of course. The interquartile range extends from around 35 to 55, and that suggests a moderate level of consistency in the strategy's performance week over week. The profit distribution box plot on the right shows a median profit of around $0, similar to the break-even point. And the narrow interquartile range implies that most weeks neither generate significant profits or substantial losses. What's most interesting about this box plot is that a lot of wins and losses are outliers from the original box plot here. But nevertheless, this algo still manages to attain an admirable hypothetical gain, and that looks to be a good sign for positive live trading situations. But when you decide to investigate this algo further on your own setup, then please remember that in comparison with other strategies, its performance indicators show very mixed results. Uh, especially again the drawdown amount that was uh, unexpectedly high at one single point. Because this also influences other ratios like Kelmar, Sortino and Sharp. I also tested this algo on lookahead bias, but the function unfortunately could not give me any results back, so you have to keep this in mind as well that the algo could suffer from lookahead bias. There was no trading stop loss configured in the original strategy, so this is not an issue. With this all set, with the information I have from the backtest and the total added score of all the individual factors, this makes this trading strategy barely end up in the top 10 performing algorithms. But as said many times before, if you want to use this algo on your own setup, please make sure to do your own excessive tests and research before using this with real money. Only if it proves to be a profitable uh, trading strategy under forward testing conditions, you might carefully use this strategy with real money. So with this conclusion, I'm at the end of this video. I hope you liked it, and if so, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to support me and want to be a patron, then follow this link and subscribe there too. You also will have the added benefit of accessing all the backtest files, results, strategies, plots, the actual setup I use, and much more. So this is it for me now, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!